I'm back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. This is the kingpin ready to have some fun. Now what we talking about today? So of course the topic is, who do you start week one against the Ravens? Do you start Josh Allen or Nate Peterman? Now before I get started, I want to make sure that you guys know I'm giving away one of these wristbands, a Buffalo Fanatics wristband. So I'm actually going to do something cool. Every video I'm going to give away a Buffalo Fanatics wristband. All you have to do is comment below and then on every video, I will show who won the Buffalo Fanatics wristband. A lot of people may not have an idea who I am. Like, who is this new guy? <laughs> because I haven't made a video in so long. My name is Pierre, AKA the Kingpin, and I'm the you know founder of the Buffalo Fanatics. And also, huge shout out to the Buffalo Fanatics. There's been a lot of new members, whether if it's subscribers on YouTube, if it's followers on Instagram or on Facebook or even on Twitter, shout out to you guys. And if you guys haven't already done so, hit the subscribe button, make sure you hit that bell notification because trust and believe, you're gonna wanna see all these videos. Now I know how Bills fans do. Bills fans donate 400 plus thousand dollars to a Bengals player. Bills fans donate thousands of dollars to our guy, you know, Pancho Villa. So Bills fans are gonna to subscribe to this channel. I already know, that's just what y'all do. All right, so much love to you guys. Now back to the topic at hand. Who do you start though? Do you start Josh Allen? Or do you start Nathan Peterman? Now we all know who Rico wants to start. <laughs> Rico, he dug his own ditch. He's all in for Nate Peterman. And I can respect it because he definitely brings up some solid points as to why it makes sense. So my job as the kingpin is to sell the other side of the situation. Is it better to sit and groom and learn or is it better to be thrown into the fire? My argument to those who think that it's best to sit and groom as a rookie is if that's the best route to take. Why hasn't more backup quarterbacks become franchise quarterbacks? Why hasn't there been more Case Keenums or more Kirk Cousins? You know, why is a Paxton Lynch not the starter by now? So is it because he's still trying to groom or maybe he was just bad? You know, but I get it though, I get it. Because the quarterback or the poster child quarterback for those who say you need to wait and groom is Aaron Rodgers, which is true. Aaron Rodgers waited three years. He was able to groom and you know learn from a Hall of Famer. So I understand. But my argument is maybe Aaron Rodgers was just good. But wait a minute, how about EJ Manuel? EJ Manuel, see? That's what happens when you start him too fast. EJ Manuel had a chance to sit and groom the entire 2016 season. Just sit, EJ, sit and learn. Perfect your craft. And then when you have your chance, you're gonna come out as a franchise. What happened week 17 of 2016? After him sitting and grooming, he came out against the Jets and arguably had his worst game of his NFL career. So again, was it because he didn't sit and groom long enough? Or was it him just being bad. It's okay to say a quarterback is bad. It's okay. You learn by doing. That's always been my philosophy, right? Because we can go back to a Carson Wentz, a quarterback that played his rookie season. He went through his lumps, had his up and down games. He was able to take what he learned into the off season and then come back the very next season and almost became the MVP. If you're worried about a player's confidence, then maybe that shouldn't be the player you want to begin with. So what do you guys feel? Leave the comments below. Should we start Josh Allen or Nate Peterman? 
Leave the comments below. Let me know what you think. Make sure you watch my next video because I'll be giving away one of these Buffalo Fanatics wristbands. Hey. So much love to you guys. And as always, I'll see you on the next one.